politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Our pastor Wilson Bugembe is finally getting married. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. I'm coming up with that story and much more this morning. Uh, my name is Amela Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. Don't forget to subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, National Unity Platform Makere University Chapter has elected Honorable Betty Nambos' foster daughter, uh, Margaret Natabi, as uh, the flag bearer in uh, the forthcoming 89th Guild elections. Uh, Margaret, who has been serving as the 88th Makere Vice Guild President, is the current female youth counselor for Mukono Municipality. Uh, Natabi will therefore hold the NUP flag in the forthcoming Guild election as the party looks forward to producing its fifth president in a row. We wish her all the best. Uh, Bukoto Central Member of Parliament, Horebo Twaha Kagabo, was recently attacked by a section of voters in his constituency. Uh, the voters accused him with being of double standards, working for President Museveni at the same time pretending to be a member of the National Unity Platform. <laughs> Atua Hakasiri, a police spokesperson in Masaka, says uh, they have arrested two people and they will soon be taken into the courts of law. Now, veteran singer and actress Mariam Dagire has downplayed rumors that she might be getting back to her ex-husband, John Segawa. This is after she uploaded him during the recent Icon Awards. Now, while getting her award on stage, Dagire thanked her ex-husband, Segawa, who was in the audience, and on top of that, she sent a flying kiss to him, something that sent the crowd into a frenzy. But she has watered the rumors of getting back together and said that she was just uploading him. And that is all. Now, police in Sirongo district are investigating a murder case in which a 36-year-old man was killed and his head chopped off by yet-to-be-identified people for allegedly falling in love with a married woman. Uh, the deceased has been identified as Wafula David and uh, the Elgon police spokesperson, Rogers Taitika, has confirmed the gruesome incident. He says police detectives have already mounted investigations into this matter. May he so rest in peace. Our Pastor Wilson Bugembe is finally getting married. We all remember some time back, Pastor Bugembe came out and said that the reason he's not hurrying to marry is because the woman he was dated and wanted to marry ended up disappointing him. But while preaching to his followers on Sunday, Pastor Wilson Bugembe confirmed that right now he's in a relationship with someone and he's looking forward to getting married next year. And of course, the details will be shared as time approaches. But then most people here don't know that I'm seeing someone. I'm seeing someone. And probably I'll marry her next year. In Jesus' name. Well, there you go. Uh, that is uh, Pastor Wilson Bugembe confirming that next year is the year that God has decided for him to become a married man. And I think he's approaching his 40s. But of course, we all know God's timing is always the best. And uh, we wish him all the best. Well, that is the latest update on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melaz Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. And it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.